I love this shit. I love dying in here. Pain, sorrow, despair. My best friends. That's what I need. That's what I need, man. When you feel like you're about to die, man. Oh, the best feeling for me, man. Yes. There's no better place to be. Alright, well, we're going to start with a skip today. Okay. Two rounds skipping to warm up, then we'll get back into the shadow boxing. So, let's do it. Skipping is like the fundamentals to boxing. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a great way to do cardio, great way to um, condition your, your bounce. Sorry? Nah. It's all in the mind. You know what I'm saying? People, a, lot, a lot of people limit themselves with shit like that, like, oh, muscles will hinder you, blah, blah, blah. It's like, forget that shit, man. Just make it work for you. Do you know what I mean? Like, a lot of people told me, oh, like, when you start boxing, your muscles are going to hinder you. I, I don't listen to those kind of people because their limitations are not mine. You know what I'm saying? I work. I'll, I'll make my muscles work for me. Obvious uh, yeah. talking point in this one is yeah, yeah. first minute on fight. Yes, yes. <laughs> you you tell me. I'm not going to say anything. You yeah. tell me what what happened. I was a different different person to what I am now. Definitely, a lot of things between then, a lot of things transpired. Like life had already defeated me going into that fight. You understand? Like waking how, up. How like, so? Well, deep in camp, waking up and um, I'm getting a text like, "Yo, like." So and so is just like killed herself. That's my, like my friend, you know what I mean? She's committed suicide. And then a week later, another one of my boys like just died from unknown causes. So it's like, I've had to suppress my emotions just because I'm deep in camp. You know what I'm saying? Like I've got this fight coming up and I'm like, this whole shit is happening. My friends committed suicide. And another, another a week later, or a few weeks later, another one of my friends has passed away from unknown circumstances. And I'm like, I want to do out like, I've had to suppress so much emotion and still carry on the soldier run. So life had already defeated me then. I remember like going for a run one time and it was, it was, it was like something out of a movie. It was raining here and I was running and I just broke down in it because there was no time or no space for me to even process any of this. Do you know what I mean? So going to that fight, I just had to put on a brave face just to just, you know, summon some strength somewhere. Done the four rounds, four twos with um, Minicon and then at the end, like my body was, I just like was so exhausted. I was like, my body was like, you're, you're done. Like, just go and rest. Do you know what I mean? So then obviously I had to get carried out on the stretcher. And um, from then on, I, I kind of like um, gave myself the space that I needed to do my mental work and my spiritual work and also my physical work, really. And um, yeah, I, I can confidently say I'm not the same person that I was back then. Do you know what I mean? I've faced everything that I had to face now. I've processed everything, do you know what I mean? I'm a different person. I love when I put these on, man. We're ready to go. <laughs> we'll do my zero, okay? Okay. You told me about your mum's school project. How's that going? The school's getting really well. She sent over some pictures and videos. Um, she's developing the classrooms for the for the kids. It's like it's a preschool, so it's like I think from ages like two to like three years old or something like that. Do you know what I mean? Um, and it's it's doing well. People are helping. You know, um, like I said, the reason why I'm fighting is just to make sure that I, I'm able to support her and you know build her legacy as well. Do you know what I mean? Car. You know, she suffered for me, so it's my turn to suffer for her. Do you know what I mean? So. Yeah, man, it's going really well. It's going really well. And obviously, I want to say big up to Master Ugwe. He actually kept it. He's a man of his word, you know what I mean? Because at a press conference, I believe he said he would donate... 10%? Yeah, 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 of his purse to the school. And he actually has done that. So live on camera in front of everyone, I want to say thank you to Master Ugwe. Great guy. 
man of your man of your word and i wish you all the best in everything that you do man yes food is here man. i'm hungry i'm starving man. let's do this thing let's fucking eat this um me who said i send this some voice notes the the long voice notes yeah i'm gonna fight again not not 19th 17th hey you got the fight with that guy again yeah, I'm gonna fight with that guy again, yeah. Um, so, uh, Panda, is it? Well, Panda? <laughs> nah, mini, Minicon, Minicon. <laughs> minicon, Minicon. Minicon! <laughs> Master Panda. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, we're gonna. Minicon one was so strong, though, you too, so you need to train for that. Yeah, I've been training hard, I've been training. Anyway, because he's a bit tougher. Mm -hmm. What do you think? No, he's not tough, man. He's a bitch, man. <laughs> because Ogwe, the other girl said, one blow, you will hit him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been training. <laughs> I've been training. Everybody tells me that you were the winner already. <laughs> you're going to win this one, I swear. 100%. Name yeah, so before we built the school, it was just land that she owned. And, um, you know, she's using the, the land for something useful, which is the school. So, yeah, it was the nothing was there, to be honest. Yeah. Pretty good, pretty good, man. Proud of her, man. She's, she's smashing it out there in Ghana, man. And uh, she motivates me, bro, to be better. And, like, just to fight for that is just, it's amazing. It gives me a different sort of power. You know what I mean? Knowing that I'm fighting for these kids' future, I'm contributing. So the, um, recently, we changed the school uniform, so it was that. And then recently, we changed it to this one, so which is great, man. You know what I'm saying? The future stars of the world. Oh, your friend Ogwe, say thank you to Ogwe and Michael. I want to say thank you to I am very, very grateful to have them. Yeah, yeah. And you know, when I was young, when I was little, when um, my mom had me, she she basically had me on her own. Do you know what I mean? And um, she she looked after me on her own. You know what I'm saying? No, no father figure around. So she was hustling and grinding, and I feel like this is where I get my my energy to just hustle and grind. Do you know what I mean? She was putting in the work. She was literally just living like a peasant, just to make sure that I was living like a living like a like a king, like a prince, basically. Do you know what I mean? So. You know, she told she 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 she. We sat down and she told me all the stories of how it was when she was pregnant with me, and told me stories of what she was doing when she had me. She had to look after me, grind, make money. Do you know what I mean? She didn't come from a lot. Do you know what I mean? Like she had the basic necessities, but as a young woman giving birth, you know, for the first time, looking after. You know what I mean? A, a child, it's, it's, it's not easy, do you know what I mean? And she had to obviously make ends meet. So yeah, man, like, I feel like now I'm, I'm a grown, strong person. I can just shoulder the burden of pain, suffering, just to make sure that she's, um, I repair. That's, this is my way of repaying her for the work that she's done for me to, you know, look after me, to, to, to make me grow into this man that you see before you right now do you know what i mean so that's that's something that's so meaningful to, meaningful to me that's something that's i'm very i'm very passionate about right so now we're going to need some abs that core is important man to have core strength is everything and plus when you got abs you look good man you know what i'm saying when you're walking on the beach in brazil and that one, you know you look sexy guy you know what i'm saying it's a bonus man so this is this is called our knee raises come on Engage your core. Nice and easy. Speed up a bit. Keep your core engaged. And if, and if you want to make it extreme, you get someone to give you bangs in your stomach. Let's go. Let's go, Shopify. Combo. Yes. What pissed me off with that fight was he he tried to claim that it was because of him that I was
put on the stretcher, but bruv, don't claim those works because life had already defeated me, bruv. You know, the ones there, don't ever, ever in your life. Like, that's, that's what I want to, when I see him, I want to show him that, yo, don't ever fucking in your life, ever, ever, ever in your life feel like that, you did that, that was not you. Do you know what I mean? That was life. You, you can't fathom waking up in the morning and then getting a text like, yo, so-and-so's killed herself and you're like, what the fuck? And then you got you got a training like in the next hour and you got to like bottle everything up and you just got to go put in work and that's on your mind. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what to do. Like what, what, what you're just, you're just here like, cool, isn't it? Like, I'm just going to soldier on. you just, just numb, you know what I'm saying? And then like, but that's, that's, that's why I'm so excited for this fight, because I want to show him you're not on my fucking level, bruv. You know what I'm saying? Don't ever, ever, don't ever think like you're, 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 you're cut from the same cloth. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. So it is basically.